What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really nice frosted ice material. So let's jump at the blender and take a look at how it's made. Okay, so I've got this 3D scan that I've downloaded from BlendSwap. And if we take a look at this in solid mode, it does have quite a lot of artifacts, but what I'm gonna do here is just right click on this and shade smooth. In fact, the artifacts aren't gonna harm us much since we're making what is essentially chipped ice. It's probably gonna actually make it look a little bit better. So I'm not too worried about that. The other thing I'm gonna do before we start on the materials is work on the lighting. When you're doing anything that's got glass, diamonds, ice, or anything that's transparent or even very translucent, it's important that you get the lighting right because the lighting and the reflections really define how those materials look. So if we go into rendered view here, what I'm gonna do is press N and I get, like to use this easy HDRI add-on. You can also use Gather, that's another really good one for HDRIs. But if I look through the library here, I found earlier on that there's one called Lights Number 7 that looks really cool. It's just got this blue glow to it. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And we've got this default material, let's just get rid of that. So in the shader editor, once you've added your automatic material, you're gonna get this principal node. We can just get rid of that, press delete, we don't need it. Let's press Shift and A, do a search, and look for the glass BSDF. We're going to set the IOR on that, which is basically just the way that light is reflected by the material. We're going to set that to 1.309, which if memory serves, that's the IOR of ice. We're then just going to grab this, press Shift and D and duplicate it down. Now, if you look at pictures of actual ice sculptures, most of it's just pretty much clear glass, but with a bit of like warp and distortion to it. But what happens is the areas that are facing away from you end up looking much more roughed up, right? That it's a lot harder to see through those parts. So this top one is gonna be the clear part and the bottom part, that's gonna be kind of the roughed up chipped ice. So for the top one, if you have Node Wrangler enabled, you can just press Control, Shift and T to take a look at this. We're gonna give this a roughness of something like 0.2. So it's gonna be really quite reflective. And I'm also gonna change the color so it's just slightly blue, and I mean just slightly, like a saturation of 0 0.07, something like that. And for the bottom one, we're gonna make this really quite rough. We're gonna go for like 0.8. So we can press Control, Shift, T, take a look at that. You can see you get a much more of like a frosted glass sort of look. Right, so to mix those together, we're gonna to do a search with Shift and A. I'm gonna look for a mix shader. Let's add the more clear one to the top and the other one to the bottom. Then we're gonna do another search, this time for the layer weight node. And if we press Control Shift and click on this, we can see that the Fresnel value, basically what this does is the further away something is from the camera, the lighter it looks. And we can use this as a mix value since this is almost exactly the same shading pattern that you get on the ice. So we're gonna use this Fresnel to mix those two we just made together. And if we take a look at that, we get something like this. We have parts, the main parts are clear, but as you get away from the camera, as it starts to like turn, it starts to get more and more white. So we need to add some bump to this and a little bit of distortion. So we're gonna do another search here for the noise texture. And we wanna use object data for this. So what we're gonna do is press Control and T and we're gonna use the object texture coordinates, plug them into the vector, and then we're gonna plug this noise texture into a bump. In fact, we're gonna make two different bumps here, so I'm gonna press Shift and D to copy that down. The first one is gonna go into the glass, and the second one is gonna go into the second glass. Put the factor of the noise into the height of both of those. Right, so if I press Control Shift and click on the noise again, we can take a look at the pattern we're making. And what I'm gonna do is turn up the distortion of something like 0.5. I'm gonna increase the roughness. I'm gonna increase the detail. And I'm gonna put the scale down to something like two. So we get this nice sort of wavy texture. For the top bump, we don't want it to be really strong. So I'm gonna go for something like a 0.2. And if we take a look at the bottom one, I think that's gonna be like a 0.7. Now, if we take a look at our ice material, you can th see things are coming along pretty well. The last thing I wanna do is just get this bottom bump here 
and I'm going to plug it into the layer weight node because the layer weight you can see it'll actually add the Fresnel effect onto the bump that you've just added. Okay so to set your scene up here once you've got your material done what I would suggest you do is just go over to the render settings and under light paths whenever you're doing anything that's got glass or transparent materials you're going, going to want to up the transmissions to maybe something like 15 put the toll up to 15 as well and maybe 10 on the transparency you don't want to change anything for clamping because this is basically all being lit up by indirect light so if I go for like a 6 on this you can see it gets much darker so you want to leave that where it is don't touch that the other thing you're going to want to do is use a lot of samples I've got the set to 2000 I'm probably going to use more for the final render glass materials like this come out very very noisy but anyway if we give this a render you should get something that looks like this so I really hope you found this helpful guys if you did hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll catch you around for the next tutorial.